The truth lab is logic and proof's semantic counterpart to the syntactic proof lab. As the proof lab engages the student in the conceptual essentials of proof construction, so the truth lab engages the student in the conceptual essentials of techniques that utilize the definition of truth in a fundamental way. As a recent addition to logic and proofs, the truth lab's design and implementation has been patterned after that of the successful proof lab, utilizing the same core design principles of freedom from notational complexity and immediate feedback. Plans for future development of the Truth Lab include the incorporation of the third core principle in the form of strategic guidance, akin to that provided by the Proof Lab's derivation tutor only on the construction of truth trees. While truth tables and truth trees are not necessarily associated with the same degree of notational complexity as our derivations, they do have a certain amount of conventional overhead to consider particularly in a pedagogical context where it's desirable that the student show their work on the problem at hand. Truth tables, for example, commonly include auxiliary columns that correspond to neither the relevant atomic formulae nor the primary formulae of interest, but rather to the subformulae of the latter. While it is important that a student demonstrates understanding by completing these columns correctly, the use of columns per se does not adequately reflect either the role of the definition of truth or the subordinate importance of the content of those columns. Rather than adopting such columns and requiring the student to fill in seemingly endless cells of a bloated table one by one, the Truth Lab adopts a visual approach that immediately employs the connection between syntax and the definition of truth. For each formula of interest in each truth value assignment, the student chases truth up the tree of grammar directly. This serves not only to reinforce the definition of truth in a dynamic fashion, it also streamlines the presentation of the table, requiring only formulae of interest and atomic formulae to be displayed, thus emphasizing the importance of these formulae to the problem as a whole. In truth table construction, giving feedback in response to errors is a bit of a balancing act. Since there are only two truth values, telling the student that they chose the wrong one necessarily gives the student the right answer. As such, the construction process is adaptive, requiring students to provide reasoning for their answer following an error. Construction of truth trees, on the other hand, is predominantly rule-based and thus largely similar to construction of derivations. Students are presented with the same sort of comprehensive support and diagnostic feedback regarding truth tree construction moves as for derivation rules in the proof lab. The truth lab goes beyond the proof lab in one respect. While a derivation does its job of showing an argument to be valid simply by being completed, a truth table or truth tree must be analyzed following construction in order to yield a semantic classification of the formula or argument in question. As such, truth lab problems characteristically include an analysis stage following the construction stage. It's during this latter stage where the identification and construction of counterexamples is undertaken. Though quite different in character from construction tasks, the same principles of freedom from notational complexity and immediate feedback shape the analysis tasks in question so that students can focus on the conceptual issues at stake. Both students and instructors are able to gauge student progress on a given problem via numerical N out of M style scores, with partial credit being automatically awarded for progress through a problem. Instructors are also able to view student work directly in order to facilitate timely and perspicuous feedback and advice.